Welcome to Insights. I'm Eric. I want to do a short, a quick review here on soybeans. I'm going to talk about some of the cycles. Um, keep this one open because there's not much being said that you don't already know. But I also want to introduce the evolution of the trade and how we use these cycles here and here, these marked right here, to our advantage to make decisions, to anticipate turns, uh, but in general to define a market that fairly few people understand. The evolution of the trade follows the primary trend. It's been up for seven months and a 33% return. The primary trend is defined here. This is the primary up impulse uh, price cycle. These are the time cycles. They're normalized to zero to help us, or you know, standardized to zero to help us understand where the cycle lies and whether or not it's extended. Seven months, this is a negative number, so it's below its, its uh, historical mean in terms of a cycle for the primary trend. It's already above its average for price, but it's not super extended, so it's not crazy off the charts. The concerns start to form here in the shorter time frames. Weekly is already three standard deviations. The time cycle of 29 weeks is over one, and that's these are the early stages of extension. That's extension right there. That's a concern. The real concern falls within the daily or the tertiary trend. These cycles near four and near seven. This is price and this is time. They're extended and they're quite extended. I've seen these numbers go higher than this in all sorts of markets and can go much higher in soybeans. But time is not as flexible as price is and at near seven standard deviations, 139 days is a lot. Now, the matrix when it's calculated every day doesn't use the resources that's required for a full cycle review because I need to publish it daily. I can't do that if the computer is running. I need to publish something. So these databases are truncated for speed. Uh, that's a common technique. Uh, but I'm going to show you how. Now this is the computer's estimate of cycles based on less data. I'm going to show you the actual data that the computer knows and how we're not even sacrificing that much and how extended 139 days is. Here's energy. We're not going to talk about that again. You can go down and click some links. Uh, Soybeans will probably reset or be ready to reaccelerate when energy builds in a favorable bullish manner, which it's not there yet. But I want to talk about the long-term database for soybeans, and that's going to pop up here. This goes back to 1959. All the daily uh, daily impulses that were calculated, there's 407 of them and 400 in bear. No reason for symmetry. It's just pure coincidence. Average duration of a bullish input uh, impulse is 20 days. Uh, average bears is 18. They can go as high as 155, which there lies the possibility in this current impulse at 139. It's extended, but we've gotten higher. But what I want to focus on is there's a lot of impulses, 400 impulses. The computer doesn't calculate this many impulses. It would be bogged down. It would be, I wouldn't be able to put the matrix out on a daily basis if I calculated this for all the uh, markets that are inside of it. But when it sees all this data, it's marking the current cycle at 139 at 5.2 standard deviations. That's less than a six and a half, but it's still a lot. I mean, this impulse is extended. It's approaching one of the biggest impulses that we've seen since the history of the contract has been trading. In terms of the price cycle, yeah, 30, 3.8 is pretty high. So the current impulse has produced a profit of, uh, in terms of this contract, the continuous contract, about 50, 55%. That's almost four standard deviations above what's the, the norm. The norm itself uh, is 8%. I mean, that's that's a lot. So it's a big, but it's 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 not as troublesome as time. Eventually, the market is going to focus on time. Uh, I d don't ask me. I mean, I, I don't. There's a lot of opinion and a lot of like emotion that creeps into trading. That's why most people get blitzed by a bus half the time and don't even see it coming because they have no discipline to see the cycles across any time frame, let alone one that they trade within. There's cycles across multiple time frames. The matrix focuses on three simultaneously. It's your only chance. I have other matrices that calculate cycles based on more than three time frames, but they're often not necessary. For the most intents and purposes, this is all that's required. But this time cycle of near six, uh, six and a half at 139 days is extremely extended. I know it doesn't, it, I know they're not paying attention to it right now, 
but they will eventually. And this will cause a reset. These cycle readings will cause a reset all by himself, regardless of even what energy. And my guess would be is that when you finally get some type of sharp, harsh sell-off, maybe into a dollar rally, the energy build will build back up and this will be accumulated and it will build the energy necessary to cause acceleration in, in, in markup phase or, or the up phase again. So I just want you to know that soybeans and anyone who subscribes and follows this is going to follow, it knows this already. We've talked about it. If you're watching and trade soybeans and you don't think about markets in terms of this type of depth or this type of fractal nature and simultaneously, you're probably at a disadvantage. Um, this stuff plays, you have to understand all three time frames. You can't do it without a computer. You also have to understand how energy pushes around the daily and the weekly time frame within the monthly and how it sets up and turns the primary trend at times. We're going to have more discussions about this in, in closed reviews, uh, but this is, I just wanted to sh point out that these cycles are really extreme and they will matter at some point. It's just that the market doesn't care right now, but it, when it does, it's going to, you know, you'll, you'll know it for sure. Then you'll be like, oh boy, I, how, how, why is this happening? Well, it's happening because of this right here. We're, we're just waiting. You can go play cards. You can go throw cards into a hat. You can do, uh, you know, 10, 10 push-ups every day or, or find something else to do. Um, you just, it's a waiting game until this eventually matters, and it will at some point. So thanks for watching the review. If you have any questions, uh, contact me, follow back to the blog, uh, leave some comments under the video. Do whatever you like. Subscribe. Subscribe to The Matrix because I actually think that it's impossible to study markets without it. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching and enjoy your trading day.